the next reaction for alkanes that we're going to study is called free radical substitution of alkanes. It's also sim simply uh, known as a substitution reaction of alkanes. The other terminologies that are used to describe this reaction, they are called, uh, it's also known as uh, halogenation. Halogenation reaction. Or if you're doing it with chlorine, it's called a chlorination reaction or if you're doing it with bromine it's called a bromination reaction now I'm going to first write an overall reaction of what's going to happen in this reaction I'm going to take the simplest alkane let's uh, take methane what's going to happen is that this CH4 molecule is going to react with a chlorine molecule and I'm doing chlorination first. Uh, bromination is exactly the same. So it's going to react with a chlorine molecule. And when it reacts with a chlorine molecule, one of the hydrogen atom gets substituted by the by a chlorine atom. So one of the hydrogen atoms is being substituted by a chlorine atom. And what happens to the hydrogen atom that is substituted it goes and bonds with the CL atom that is left behind. So you get an HCl molecule. So that's your overall equation for chlorination or halogenation. The conditions for this particular reaction are that UV light or the presence of sunlight is essential. So, so you need ultraviolet light for this particular reaction. Uh, the other important point about this reaction is that this reaction will not stop over here. It's going to keep on continuing until all the hydrogen atoms get substituted. So the next step in this reaction is going to be that you have this, uh, you're going to have this CH3Cl uh, molecule. So I'm going to draw the CH3Cl molecule. It's going to react with chlorine again if there's chlorine left and uh, it in the presence of ultraviolet light and again another hydrogen atom is going to be substituted by a cl so you already had one cl atom substituting one hydrogen atom now another hydrogen atom is going to get substituted by cl and another molecule of h cl is going to be formed so this reaction is going to keep on continuing until and until all the hydrogen atoms get substituted so the reaction continues until all the hydrogen atoms in the alkane are substituted So the end product of this particular um, halogenation reaction of uh, methane is going to be CCl4. There would be all the hydrogen atoms are going to be substituted by Cl. So that's your final product. And I'm... Uh, this product will only be obtained if uh, you have a lot of supply of Cl2, there's excess Cl2. If you run, off, run out of Cl2, then all the chlorine atoms, would, it would not be possible to substitute all the hydrogen atoms. So this is a brief uh, description of what the reaction is going to be and I'm now going to give you a detailed idea of how this reaction occurs. Now I'm, I'm going to briefly describe the mechanism of this reaction and give a few details of how this reaction uh, works and uh, so so I'm going to I'm going to describe the mechanism for free radical substitution reaction or simply substitution reaction now the mechanism of this reaction is that this reaction is divided in, into it's divided into two into three separate steps the first one for O levels you don't need to actually uh, remember all the details of the mechanism because only a general question is going to come on uh, this particular reaction so this mechanism it's only for your own understanding so there are three steps involved uh, in the in this mechanism the first is 
initiation. Now, what happens in this step is that uh, there is a Cl2 molecule. Now, a Cl2 molecule has a single bond. The two chlorine, it's a diatomic molecule. So, there are two chlorine atoms which are bonded together. And what happens is that when you uh, when you put it uh, when you expose it to sunlight, so when it is exposed to sunlight or ultraviolet light, this chlorine chlorine bond it breaks it breaks up, and when it breaks up, it ends up producing two chlorine atoms which are separate now. Now both of these chlorine atoms these are called free radicals. Now the definition of free radicals that's not important but what a free radical is as you can see or if you can look in the periodic table chlorine has seven outer electrons so it has it has an incomplete outer shell so it's going to try and bond with something so these free radicals th these chlorine atoms uh, will try they will try to complete their outer shells So they will try to complete the outer shells and the way they're going to do that is by bonding with other atoms, by using the electrons from the other atoms. So they can form covalent or ionic bonds. Uh, so which is why these uh, chlorine atoms are going to be extremely reactive. So remember one thing that uh, free radicals, these free radicals, are extremely reactive substances so once uh, these are formed they start a chain reaction and that chain reaction I'm going to describe that that's the second step that's called the propagation step so what these uh, chlorine radicals are going to do they're going to try and complete the bonds so what they do is that if there's a CH4 molecule They're going to try and steal one of the hydrogen atoms and they're going to try and form HCl. And once HCl is formed, this CH4 molecule ends up losing one of the ends up losing one of the hydrogen atoms. So the bonds of this carbon atom are now no longer complete. So this carbon atom over here, now this has an incomplete. outer shell so we can call this as a free radical as well so this is a free radical that is formed when chlorine uh, so chlorine steals one of the hydrogen atoms because it wants to complete its outer shell and when it does that the bonds of carbon are now no longer complete so in the next step carbon is going to try this CH4 is going to try and complete its outer shell so our last step let me clear this so that brings us to our third step which is called the termination step so the termination step therefore involves uh, it would involve this CH3 molecule which where, where carbon has incomplete outer shells and remember that we had one chlorine which was still unused and, st and it still wanted to complete its outer shell so these two are going to react together two free radicals this is a free radical and this chlorine is also a free radical so in the last step what happens is that two free radicals then combine together and they're going to produce this molecule so one of the hydrogen atoms gets substituted and this process keeps on going uh, going until all the hydrogen atoms are substituted in this reaction so this is a this is a general description not a very detailed description of the mechanism of how this reaction goes on so remember that uv light is uh, used because it helps us in breaking the bonds of chlorine uh, molecules and it helps, uh, helps us in forming chlorine radicals. A few more points about these reactions are that uh, uh, these substitution reactions of free radical substitution
substitution. Now these reactions, uh, uh, it's uh, generally uh, two halogens are involved. Mostly this reaction, when we talk about this reaction, we are either talking about free radical substitution using chlorine or we're talking about free radical substitution using bromine. Now there are a few problems with the iodine because uh, high temperatures are required if you want to, if you want to, if if an if an alkane if you want to perform a free radical substitution using al using iodine. So high temperatures would be required because iodine is a solid, so there are strong intermolecular forces. So you need to overcome those intermolecular forces, and then you have you have uh, fluorine. Now with fluorine, the problem is that it's ex it it is an extremely explosive and uncontrollable reaction. Explosive and uncontrollable. So it is avoided, this reaction is avoided for this or it's uh, generally not carried out for iodine or fluorine. So generally when, whenever we're going to talk about free radical substitution, we're going to talk about chlorine and bromine. So I'm going to do a few more examples of free radical substitution reaction and, and we're going to learn how to make or construct equations. So I'm going to come up, uh, I'm going to write down a few more equations for free radical substitution. Let's say I have propane. Now propane is C three carbon atoms and all the rest are hydrogen atoms so I'm going to draw all the hydrogen atoms now so that's propene and if I write down an equation with bromine and uh, this reaction is carried out using UV light so you have UV light as the conditions for this reaction so one of the hydrogen atoms is going to be substituted by bromine so it could be any of the hydrogen atoms there's no there's no rule, hard and fast rule of which hydrogen atom is going to be substituted by bromine. So let's say I substitute this uh, center hydrogen atom with bromine and the rest of the hydrogen atoms are intact. And the other molecule that's going to be formed would be HBr. So that's one of your equation. Let's uh, do a free radical substitution reaction with another molecule. Let's say there's a branched uh, alkene. So let's uh, draw a branched alkene. So this I'm drawing two methyl propane now, which means that there's going to be a propane and there's going to be a methyl branch on the second carbon atom. Now again, if I do a free radical substitution reaction using Cl2, then uh, you can choose any of the hydrogen atoms and substitute, substitute that hydrogen atom with Cl. So let's say I pick uh, this hydrogen atom which was right at on the left end of the molecule and I've substituted it by Cl and the rest of the molecule is drawn as it is. And the other molecule that's going to be formed would be HCl and remember the conditions for this reaction are UV light. So without UV light this reaction would not be possible.